passionate. I work hard so when it pop, it ain't on accident. Yeah, I'm always on go, better watch. Hello loves, welcome back to the channel. So I'm bringing you another ASOF haul per usual. Um, you'll probably be seeing this during the weekend. Yeah, probably because I went on a little mini vacay this week and I wasn't doing much work or any work on my vacation. So, um, and it's after the vacation. I actually got my nose pierced, didn't want to put on makeup, didn't feel like all of that. Uh, because, you know, I gotta wash my brushes. So I'm like, I don't want any type of contamination, infection, nothing. So, um... I'm not doing makeup until I wash all of my brushes. So that's neither here nor there. Um, just wanted to be in my natural state and we're gonna go ahead and get into this haul. I do have a coupon code, which I will leave over here. Hopefully the lighting is cool. It's like a kind of cloudy day, it's a cool tone. So hopefully it's not too bad. Um, this first set that we have here, if I forget anything, I'll put it in the description. Of course, everything will be linked down below. Size and prices will be on the screen. But this first set is like this, um, dark mauve coral color. This is just a comfortable set that I thought I could wake up and put on and come downstairs, walk around the house, run errands, come back, go to the little gym in my little, um, I was about to say basement. I don't have a basement. In my garage, like, I've been looking for clothes where I can get up feel really cozy and comfortable but still st feel the urge to kind of hey you can go work out in that you know um because it does get a little cool in the garage because it's not uh what is it ice not isolated insulated so um this is a perfect set for that um it is like a long sleeve but i think you're supposed to like pull it up to three quarter length and have it around there and then it does have these slits on the sides which i like in a shirt i think these are really cute and it kind of I don't know meshes well with your shape and then in the back it is like covered as far as your butt so i do like that the pants are like a leg and fit so if you're not necessarily wanting to show your butt um you definitely have this flat pair to cover that so i do appreciate that with this set here it's not too sheer either which i also enjoy and then the front is just like this i have on some trash granny panties they're not trash they're comfortable but i like higher ones they stop like here so whatever so that's this first set here i like it. it's cute if you want to you can definitely tie it in a knot or something and make it more you or whatever but i would just wear it like this because it's something chill okay so i'm not gonna lie i had super low expectations of this skirt here um i didn't know how it would fit or feel uh personally i love it like this is not typically my style i don't know where in the hell i would wear this to but i love the leather like fringe i like the length i'm not used to having something i don't know it's just something really different that you could have in your closet and you can pull it out like at a rare ass occasion and be like oh shit i forgot i had that skirt like i don't know um you know trying something is just like that's not like wait i really like that i didn't think it just far exceeded my expectations the material is actually stretchy so it's um comfortable i don't know how they did this with this skirt i just really thought there would be no stretch there would be any nothing that would work for me it has a side zipper so um i just unzipped it put it on and zipped it up pretty simple you can even put it over your head whatever you choose i think it's also flattering without being like it's flattering without being peplum or your typical like you know flattering material that everybody wants fat people to wear so yeah this bra is not the best support so excuse my rose so then back here is just the same thing as the front um the material is like spandex so i'm assuming the fringe is attached to the spandex um on certain layers it's really really nice and it's really really comfortable I like the movement that it has. It's just, she always think I'm talking to her. Anyways, I like the movement. It's like, oh my gosh, if you're a belly dancer, this would probably be great for you. Whatever. Um, that's this skirt here. Really nice. I didn't have a top to try it on with, so I just had my bra. But I would definitely do this with a crop like moto leather jacket and maybe like a sparkly bralette or something or bandeau underneath and a nice black heel or a diamond like rhinestone hill i'll about to say i don't know what i would say honestly so that's what i would do with this probably i think this is cute edgy and different okay so with this i don't know i feel like it has a lot of stretch but it's still kind of constricting like i have room in the sleeves but i feel like the torso is a little bit short but it's really comfortable still 
don't know how to explain it so i just wanted a white jumpsuit or we yeah this is called a jumpsuit i would say bodysuit or romper a white jumpsuit that i could wear in the spring and summer just something really cute and simple that you could wear like a pop of color with with your purse your shoe hat i don't wear hats like that that's crazy but whatever you wanted to do um so yeah that's why i picked this out i know it'll be kind of thin um kind of see-through it's definitely see-through and sheer but i would just wear a pair of black leggings underneath like i would do with like i would do with any set dress anything that was super thin or just needed some type of shaping underneath or you just didn't want to be wiggling and jiggling everywhere i would definitely do that so uh there was something i wanted to mention that last skirt can definitely be borderline shredded trash bag pinata something like that but i feel like if you dress it up right it can be really cute and you can be really unique and stand out with your outfit so the back of this you're gonna probably see my underwear even though they're dark and I'm, I'm so confused with white. Some people say wear black underwear. Some people say wear nude. And I'm just like, pick one. Which one is it? Because these blue ain't working. And again, it is comfortable. It is cute and it's simple. But you definitely, or well, I definitely will want to wear something underneath it. Dang, man, I had high hopes for this dress. It's like a really soft, fuzzy, furry type of, reminds me of those fuzzy socks that people wear in the winter, year round, whenever. Um, it's so comfortable, but it's so short. Like it was not trying to go down. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure like it stops right under my butt. I love this color. The material is everything. I don't know. I just thought this would be so cute. When you pull it out, it looks really long, but no girl, no. So you guys know if it doesn't come to that line of demarcation, I'm like really skeptical about it. This could be a house dress, but it's too cute to just wear in the house. So that's this dress here. Really comfortable, really cozy. As I mentioned in the last video, this has been my vibe. I've really been looking to wear like long bodycon type dresses that you could put a nice simple hair with. Put your hair up in a cute puff, um, bun, whatever, ponytail. I think it'd be really, really cute. So yeah, this gray like rib dress is super comfortable. Um, I would definitely dress it up. I don't like, hmm. Typically, I don't like wearing gold with gray. I like wearing silvers with grays. So, I would definitely do like a silver rhinestone or clear shoe. Um, I don't think I have a gray one anyway. Or a pop of color. But I'm thinking the more neutral tones. And that would be really, really cute. You can definitely put a fur on top of this really nice but this dress here it has a nice stretch to it but still seems like it has a nice constriction it's not going to be super flattering in the stomach area if you have a stomach like i don't know how to explain some of this stuff to people but in the comments you will always find somebody saying oh it's not flattering oh it's not this everything is not meant to be flattering and i don't do try-ons with shapewear so you're gonna get what you get and if you feel like oh well if i put on a spanx i'll look you know more put together in it then you can feel free to do that but when i'm trying stuff on because everybody doesn't wear shapewear i don't do that so um yeah this is the back of this dress like i said i love the length love the material it doesn't seem sheer when i wash this back i'll definitely see if it was sheer and you'll see as well this is actually something that i like and i didn't think i would like typically i don't wear stuff like this <laughs> like let's just be honest i don't wear super outstated stuff i guess when it comes to like a long dress like i'll wear a short printed dress but i won't wear like a long maxi dress like this that has this like fun like retro print on it but i definitely see this like being worn this summer or spring like it's something that drew me to it i don't know if it's the print the colors the shape it's just cute to me and yeah this is something i can wear outside of my comfort zone so that's this hair might actually wear this on my birthday trip just to be different and to step outside of my comfort zone so then you have the back of it it's a really thin dress um as far as the, the weight of it it's really lightweight and it's going to conform to your shape so um yeah if you what i was going to say if you feel a need to wear a spanx or a legging underneath this definitely feel free to you have enough wiggle room you're not going to feel like you're suffocating or whatever um but what was i about to say i had something else to say oh the print the print also is really like flattering here in this area 
I just like this dress and I didn't think I would like it. I just really wanted to try it on because it looked really different on the website. So that's this dress here. So I can't turn around in this, but I had super high hopes for this. It reminds me of like a tennis dress, you know, something that's kind of sporty, but still cute. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> I can't turn around. It has stretch, but it's not the stretch you're thinking. Like it has some give to it. But under the arms, really snug. I love the zipper part of this. It's really cute. Um, it goes all the way down, so you can definitely control how sexy you want it to be. Love this flat pair, but it's definitely supposed to be like down here. So I already knew it wouldn't work. Um, it zips from the, I think, bottom and the top. So you can definitely do something like that and have it, you know, something cute. Like I thought this was so versatile and cute and different. I looked at it a few times on the site. Eventually I just passed it up and was like, nah, like, you know, and then I was like, okay, let me try it. And as you can see, it didn't work out. So that's this here. I don't know how to describe it um, as far as the stretch and the material. Again, I can't turn around for you, but yeah, that's this. It's like ribbed, but not really a rib mixed with a crepey. I don't know how to explain it. So that's this, has the small pinstripes, really cute concept. But uh-uh, don't work for me. So I love this. The only thing that would make this perfect is pockets. Other than that, I definitely saved this for last because I wanted to wear it around the house today to go get food or something, take China out, all of that. So it's really comfortable. I really appreciate that. When I'm wearing lip gloss or my hair up in a bun or a puff, I appreciate not having to put something over my head once it's all done because it messes up your hair, your edges, whatever. Or, I know my puff probably looking crazy because it never looks right when I'm recording. <laughs> but, or your gloss just touches it and it's just a nasty feeling and drags down your face. Like, nobody wants all that. So, I appreciate that this is actually one that you can just put on and zip up. I have a set like this in Olive. One of my go-to sets. I love it so much. So, um, I love the print of this. Something different. Again, something I wouldn't go for. And I've already changed my mind about the maxi dress. Like, hey, do I really want to wear it on my birthday? Probably not. And I, ugh, something is on my lip. Look, it's a piece of freaking material. This is what I'm talking about. Must have came from, I don't even know. What did it come from? So, anywho, um, love this. Really comfortable fit. I don't have a problem with the back gapping or anything. Um, as far as you see in my upper back. I mean, what? Lower back. So, yeah, I really appreciate that. It's thin, it's lightweight, it's comfortable. Definitely something I can see being worn in the spring, fall, and summer. So even though it's long sleeve, it's not hot. Like it's a really comfortable, breathable set. So one thing didn't fit, and this is another one of those sets where, well not sets, but things where you can control what you want to show. If you want to be a little more sexy around the house or whatever, you can do that. You can go without a bra and just zip it up and have, you know, whatever, like it's all up to you. So this here was another different material from Aesop. Um, I love that it was lined, double lined in the chest. Well, it was lined in the chest area. Um, it's a jumpsuit, as you can see, like a tube top one. Uh, it's like a zigzag stripe to it. It does have a zipper in the back. It has like no stretch, but the material will make you think that it has stretch. And the legs, you're good a little bit, but yeah, no. So that's this jumpsuit here, which didn't fit. And that was the only thing that I couldn't show you guys physically on, even though that other dress didn't fit, I still was able to show you. So I hope you enjoyed this chill, calm, ASOF haul. It was actually, I am keeping like five things probably, um, including this. I thought all of the items were worth showing you because I don't know, it was all over the place, but I wanna get back to my themed videos. I just wanna think about um, what's to come. Like I might do Valentine's Day, might do the end of the winter, beginning of spring haul. Like so, and because I do these so frequently, you know, I don't wanna lose type of ideas. So sometimes I will bring you random things like today. However, I do enjoy the themed hauls because a lot of people really ask about stuff like that. And what would you wear here and there? And all that good stuff so hope you enjoyed one of my faves was this set i'm definitely wearing this all day it's gonna become probably the replacement to my green set